Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome back to my part two of scanning multiple implant sites along with using our latest and greatest updated version of the scan body library. We will also cover how to register a custom abutment. Any questions or any future topics you would like answered or touched on, please email me. And my name is Samantha Samayoa at metededu at medit.com. Once again, that email is medit, E like elephant, D like door, U like umbrella at medit.com. So let's go ahead and get started with first creating a new case. And I have an existing patient here that I'll select and register and scan. Once we're on our Rx or our prescription page, we are going to select the implant sites. So I'll start with what I have here for my model. We'll select a type of workflow, the type of method, material, and shade if I know. We're ready to move on to our scan page. So let me get this started by clicking scan. And now we're going to go into Medit Scan for Clinics. And since our implant sites are located on the upper, which is here, if you see form information, you're going to notice that I selected 10, 12, and 13. We'll start with our emergence profile. And what I want to do, since this is more an indentulous multiple implant site area, if you see on the bottom where it says no filter, I'm going to go ahead and click it on. Because remember, we have AI, and AI usually tends to remove any data um, of soft tissue that's unnecessary. For this type of scan, I need AI not to do that. So we'll go ahead and get started. And I'll go ahead and move on to the buckle since it's the upper arch. Beautiful. And I can hover over this um, emergence profile area just a little longer so I can calculate and kind of get as much data as possible. Amazing. All right. So the next step is our scan body. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on our scan body page. And first things first, we are going to go to scan body matching button. As you can see here, we have our tooth, our teeth numbering system here, and then here's our scan body library. So I already uh, recently located my initial uh, scan body that I will be using for my multiple sites, um, but Depending on yours, you'll go to library, you'll search the type of company implant and um, just click from there. Let me go ahead and explain as well that if you do not see your library existent in our library, what you can do is call the implant company, request an STL library. And what you'll do is save it on your desktop or whatever folder you like, click add library, this little plus button, and then just locate the folder selected and it will automatically drop into your library. So let's get started. So let's say I found my scan body in my system. I'm going to go ahead and assign them to the teeth that we want to match them to. We're going to hit assign and confirm and we're ready to move on. First things first, we're going to place our scan body into its location. This is going to be number 13. And you're going to select it right here. You're going to make sure it's highlighted. So while I'm scanning that scan body, it's going to automatically match it because I selected it in the library. You're going to start on the buckle and work your way up. And as you can see, it automatically did the matching for me. I'm so grateful for all these AI tools that Medit offers. It just makes my life so much easier. Now that I did the matching, 
before I move on to my next implant site, what I want to focus on is making sure that I lock this in. So if I accidentally move too close to this area, it will not overwrite it. So on the left hand side, lock area, I'm going to go ahead and click. And I'm going to drag out with my mouse by using the circle selection. Now feel free to use whichever one you like. I personally like using the circle selection because it's more clean and it focuses on every little nook and cranny that's in this area. Let me move on to the next one. And I'll place my implant scan body in its place. I'm going to turn off the lock area tool. Now I'm ready to do the next, which is number 12. I'll start on the buckle. Work my way up. Go to the occlusal. As you can see, I'm getting near number 13. All right. And this one didn't automatically match it, but that's okay. We do have the option to manual align it. So what I'll do is I'll hit this manual alignment. I'll drag this by holding my scrolly wheel. Okay. Now what I like to do is I like to zoom in as much as possible. And I am going to select three points and match it exactly to those three points. Oh, let's try it again. I'll do it from the top. Beautiful. Let me exit out of here. This little button where it says exit. And I am ready to go on to the next number 10. Again, we'll select it down here. Tooth number 10. And we're ready to scan. Final tooth. And there we go. It did it. It did it deed. Beautiful. And that is pretty much it. That's where we end up with how using your uh, scan body library. And the purpose of it is to be able to fill any little nook, any little cranny that you missed while scanning your patient's scan body. It will automatically fill in those voids by matching what you have in your library. And the next step is to complete this case. I'm going to go ahead and process it. And once we're back to our prescription page, we're going to create a new case. And now this new case will take place on registering custom abutment. So let's go ahead and do that. And I'll just select anybody just to move on to our scan body page. At this point, our custom abutment already exists. My lab created it. They sent it over to me. I'm ready to move on to actually creating a crown for this custom abutment. And I'll go to my scan body page. I mean, my scan for clinics page, and we'll get started with that. But first things first, I am going to teach you guys how to register the same function that we use the scan body library for. We use the custom abutment registration for to fill in any little void when you're scanning in your patient's mouth. So for this model that I have, it's going to be the mandibular, and I am going to click on register abutment. As you can see here, I'm going to click it, and the first thing I'm going to do and advise you guys to do is to turn on your uh, reliability map model display mode, as you can see on the right hand side is a little circle with the rainbow. Go ahead and click it until it turns green. That is your reliability. And while this function is on, we are going to turn on the scanner. And keep an eye on your live feed. You want to make sure that you're right on the custom abutment. And it can be a little difficult. Make sure that there's 
no overhead light. It can lose track. Another thing you can do, and I advise, is turn on your high definition, your HD mode. That can help. If you heard me gasp, that means <laughs> I dropped my custom abutment. Good thing it fell on top of the table. And we are almost done. I apologize for the stall. I have a lot of sunlight coming in through my windows. That won't be the case when uh, our summer's over. Okay. I won't bore you with this too much, but as you can see, here is our custom abutment. I can touch on that area just to... See if it can fill in that void. And guys, you can also, with these custom abutments, make sure that when before you get them from your lab, see if they can um, sandblast them if you're going to be doing the, registry, the registration of the custom abutment. That can help tremendously. Perfect. Next step is to clean up this area. So obviously we don't need this whole uh, area. I'm going to hit my polyline tool and I'm going to delete anything underneath it. I can zoom out and zoom back in to be more detailed. Turn it around, pan view it. Okay, once it's ready to add to the library, we're going to hit this uh, merge abutment. And that's going to add it to our library as a single use. Again, register in library. We're going to name it. Oh. Confirm. And as you can see here, it is a single use for Sammy's custom abutment. We are going to assign this bad boy to the tooth that it belongs to. We're going to hit assign. And now that we registered this custom abutment, we are ready to start scanning in our patient's mouth. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place my scanner tip above the interproximal tooth to the front. Work my way into the buckle. And as you can see, I am paying more attention to my live screen on the lower right-hand side of my screen, working my way on the occlusal, and then I'll go into gathering the lingual. Now that I accomplished and captured everything in their area, now I'm going to focus on the inner proximals of my adjacent teeth. Same thing with the front one. Beautiful. Okay, so now what we are going to go over is how to manually align um, this custom abutment to fill in anything that I missed while I was scanning here. I'm going to do a manual alignment. And as you can see, this custom abutment looks very symmetrical, and that occurs when it's customized. Um, so what I'm going to do is I am going to click on AI abutment matching. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this manual alignment button right here. And then what I'll do is with my mouse, I will select a pinpoint area. This is going to be my point one. And mind you, you can use as many points as you want, as long as it's under five points. I'm just going to go with two because I'm very comfortable with that number. And then those exact points, one and two, I am going to look for those exact points here on my model or my custom abutment, should I say, number one, number two, 
gorgeous. So as you can see, any little nook, any little cranny that I missed while scanning that custom abutment in my patient's mouth, that AI matching automatically fills in those voids for me. I love that we have all these amazing tools to help us with our scanning process and make it as flawless as possible. And we're able to now save this, complete it, process it. And when we send this case out to our lab, not only will they receive our full scan, our emergence profile, the custom abutment, but we'll be able to give them that separate file to send to the lab. I appreciate all of you guys joining me this afternoon, and I'm looking forward to many more. If you have any questions, like I mentioned earlier when we started this webinar, if you have any questions or any future webinars you guys would like to see, please email me. My name is Samantha Samayoa at meditedu at medit.com. Thank you, guys.